Uh, so I welcome you all to UIS and uh, uh, my name is Saurabh Pandey. Let's uh, discuss about this important topic. The Earth is constantly subjected to an overwhelming influx of cosmic rays. As these high energy cosmic rays, which have traveled great distances, make their way into the Earth's atmosphere, they collide with atoms and trigger a chain reaction of secondary cosmic rays. When the secondary cosmic rays reach the topmost meters of the Earth's surface, they transform elements within minerals, into rare radioisotopes known as cosmogenic radionuclides. Scientists can analyze the fluctuations in the concentrations of these nuclides to determine the length of time that rocks have been exposed on the Earth's surface. This provides researchers with valuable insights into planetary processes, such as erosion rates, with just a single kilogram of river sand. The goal of the project was to document the amount of time material resides on the hill slopes in the Andes Mountains relative to the overall erosion rate of the river basin. This information is critical to helping scientists identify landslide risks and understand how climate change will impact the dynamics of material transport on hill slopes as regions get wetter or drier. To determine erosion rates, the team obtained samples of river sand collected at the foot of the eastern flank of the Andes Mountains in the Mendoza and San Juan provinces, located in west-central Argentina. The river sand is to be a representative, well-mixed sample of the entire catchment, or runoff area, upstream of where the sample was collected. In Hoke's lab at Syracuse University, the sand was treated to isolate pure quartz from the other minerals present in the sample. The researchers use pure quartz because it is an optimal source for B10 and C14. Splits of pure quartz were sent to the university at Buffalo and Lifton's lab where beryllium and carbon were extracted, respectively. Subsequent measurements of C14 were performed at Purdue University's Primal Lab and B10 was analyzed at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory to figure out the concentrations of each radionuclide. The highest non-volcanic peaks in the Andes are located between Santiago, Chile, and Mendoza, Argentina. The river basins that drain the high Andes span 5,000 meters 16,500 feet, in elevation and their hill slopes are lined with accumulations of rocky debris known as talus and scree. Because B10 and C14 are produced proportionally but decay at vastly different rates, as sediment is mobilized and buried through landsliding, the rate of production of both isotopes diminishes, but because C14 decays 1000 times faster than B10, their proportionality changes rapidly. This change in proportion allowed the authors to apply a statistical model to determine the average duration of time it takes material to travel down tailless slopes. C14 was much lower than anticipated, meaning that sediments eroded from the high mountain watersheds and were shielded from cosmic rays for at least 7 to 15,000 years. The authors explain that temporary storage in Thales slopes best explains the lower concentration of C14 relative to B10. C14 can be significant in unraveling sediment transport dynamics going forward, and potentially help predict where future landslides might occur. Uh, so I hope this session will be very helpful for you. Uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe uh, UIS channel. There are many important videos for you. UIS channel to subscribe to UIS channel. The Hindu session is in the morning at 7 to 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 7 uh, जो different batch courses online वो भी uh, उसका भी आप हिस्सा बन सकते हैं मेरे द्वारा भी कई सारे courses आपके लाए गए हैं uh, चाहे वो uh, geography environment uh, science का uh, geography environment agriculture का course हो या science and technology का course है ऐसे बहुत सारे जो courses हैं वो आपके लिए लेकर आए गए हैं तो उनको भी आप join करें uh, an academy के साथ जुड़कर आप live classes कर सकते हैं और अपनी preparation को अच्छा कर सकते हैं test series हैं booklets हैं everything is available तो जरूर से जुड़ें और सारे अपडेट के लिए UIS चैनल को आप लोग जरूर से सब्सक्राइब करें थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू